this quinoa dish is so easy to make that you could just make a whole bunch or one pot and actually put it in containers for the whole week for your lunches. You can either use a pressure cooker, it's only two minutes in the pressure cooker to cook. If you don't have a pressure cooker, you can just use a pot, but you're just gonna have to check it a couple of times while you're cooking. So we've got one cup of quinoa. I've rinsed the quinoa, so you always have to rinse your quinoa just because it's got a bit of flavour otherwise. I like using the colourful, the like the three or four different coloured quinoa, which you can get at any supermarket, just because I like colourful dishes. And I use one can of black beans. Try to get the ones with no salt added, just the water. So one can of black beans. You can actually cook beans in the pressure cooker in like three or four minutes, You can, depending on what beans you're using. But if you are like me, you don't have time to do things, just get the cans. It's better to eat healthy and use cans than be eating stuff that's just highly processed. So I've got two cups of corn. Yum, you love corn. You said the other day you didn't like it, but I know how much you love it. Two cups of peas. You can use mixed greens or mixed veggies, anything you want in it. They're the ones that I chose to use. And it's only one, one jar. This is a 400, I think it's 450 gram jar. But just one jar of any salsa. I like to check the ingredients. This has got the least ingredients and that's why I chose it. And it's got no oil in it. So I, I like to cook with less oil if I can. So, and here is all the magic. This is where the magic happens right now. One teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of oregano, erigani, which is called in Greek. I've got half a teaspoon of chili and one teaspoon of salt and two teaspoons of garlic powder. Now, you can use any seasoning you want, but these are the seasonings I like to use. It gives it so much nice flavor. It's, um, makes it taste Mexican, Mexican type style. And I just put a little bit of water inside, three quarters of a cup, three quarters of a cup of water, and then you mix it, let it cook. This is gonna take two minutes to actually cook, so it's only two minutes, it's awesome. I'm gonna set it up and we'll see you when we get back. So, and then it's done. So then I'm just gonna let out the rest of the pressure. Things out. And it should be ready. Now, if you're doing it on the cooktop, like so on, on a stove top, um, you just do the same thing, whatever we've done, and then you bring it to the boil and then you simmer on low heat until it's finished. And I think it's around 20 minutes. So this is what it's looking like. How great is that? And we, thanks to our lovely Shona, have some awesome corn chips here so that you can serve it as a dish on the table if you're going somewhere or if people are coming over. You could just put this in containers, four or five containers, and you've got um, food for the week. There you go. So we've got our delicious one pot quinoa. Try it. Please join us again soon.